Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome to IT Snippets. Today I'm going to show you how to change a clip speed in DaVinci Resolve. This is another one of my DaVinci Resolve quick tips. So let's get started. First thing you have to do obviously is go inside DaVinci Resolve. I've already loaded some clips in here. But this is the clip that we want to play around with just now. And if I play it, you'll have seen this before if you've seen my reverse clip, DaVinci Resolve tutorial. It's just me pouring some juice, or some Coke, or Pepsi in this case rather, into a glass. So the first thing we want to do is right click our clip if we want to change the speed and there's change clip speed here where you can basically just give it a percentage so I'll give it like 800 as you can see it changes the clip length down here if I zoom in a bit it should now display rather quickly and my system is struggling to play it let's try that again So as you can see, that's a lot faster. Now, using the right click and change clip speed, I've had issues. I've noticed that in previous versions of DaVinci, I'm currently using version 17 beta, I've not tested it in this yet, but if I had, for example, a second clip over here and I sped up this clip, then the audio from this clip would be pulled back, like so, but the video wouldn't, so it'd end up out of sync and trying to get that back was just a pain in the back side. So if I just control Z on that, I can right click, go to change clip speed and I'll just put it back to 100% for the time being. Okay, so a better way around that to circumvent the problem I've just mentioned is to just pull our clip in clips a lot longer than the original version it was already loaded so let me just trim it down for here try and find out where I start pouring probably about there that'll do let's clip that out okay let's do right click and go to retime controls go down here to change clip speed by clicking the little arrow change that to we'll do 400 percent Move that back and that's faster. Now, because you're using retime controls, what you can do, if I just zoom in here a little, is you can have it pour really fast to start with, to about there. You can put a break in and when I move the glass away, or sorry, I move the bottle away, it stops, I will change the retain controls for this to 100%. And just move this up on another level so it doesn't overwrite. Over there. We'll change this to 100%. And then I'll go across here, move this down, change the retain controls in this as well, and I'll change that to 50%. So what should happen is it should pour really, really quickly, go to normal, and then slow down. So let's try that. That's at normal speed. And that last part was actually quite slow. Oh. Delete that part of the clip because it's not required. But you couldn't really see. In fact, it didn't change it. That's what happened. So if I select that again, try again, I must have misclicked and changed that to 50%. Zoom out. 
this is at standard speed and then we've got to pour again it'll slow it down there we go so that's a benefit of retime controls if you like this video give it a like if you dislike this video give it a dislike too if you get feedback on this or any other videos or suggestions for videos you believe we should do in the future then please let us know in the comments below and most of all thank you for watching